welcome back. I am Corina Tanakun. I am an author of Superhero Parenting. Stop feeling frustrated and apply the love system to raise confident and compassionate kids without the stress. My mission is to empower parents to raise their children to be more confident, have great self-esteem, to be independent, resilient, compassionate, so that they will be ready for the future. Do subscribe, like and share my channel. And remember, click on to my notification bell so that you will be informed of any new videos that has been uploaded. Let's get into the tip now. I'm going to share about time out or time in. What is that? I'm sure most of you have heard about time out. Um, these are being used when uh, children, uh, what we perceive that they have misbehaved themselves and we put them in a time out corner. So go into the corner and you know just think through what you have just done and then come back to me when you're ready. Right, so that is the time out. We see the problem and chuck the child in a corner, expecting the child to uh, think through uh, what they have done. And some of the parents or some adults uh, add in even more ingredients uh, while the child is having a time out when they are already uh, crying, or some of them might be crying or upset or confused. We might be adding a lot, maybe things that shame them or uh, put guilt trip on them, uh, you know, and what happened is that thinking that by doing that, we are helping to solve the problem, hoping that this will not uh, be uh, happening again, that the child will not repeat this uh, behavior again. But, uh, you know, when we do that, putting a child in a corner, expecting them to think, are you aware that when a child goes through tantrum or being upset, they are really not thinking anymore? And, and because they're not thinking anymore and with you uh, or any parents just adding things in uh, or scolding them or asking them to stop and, you know, everything except comforting them, will actually make the child even more scared, insecure, or even cry even louder. Um, and, and they'll definitely not be thinking. And they are always would be running to you and, and say, please, you know, hug me, please comfort me. But all we do is go in the corner, go in the corner, right? Um, I'm guilty of that. Uh, I've used that uh, when I was uh, uh, teaching but not so aggressively, right? Because I will make sure that they are there. Uh, I'm near them so that they can still approach me. And this is what we have learned or we have been educated even in our uh, early childhood about having time out. Later on, I'll share about time in. But what are the effects of time out? You know, and you know, the child who is being defiant, aggressive, or any limit pushing behavior is trying to tell you I am out of control help me why am I having this feeling why am I out of control um, you know your child is just as confused as you are and, and they are worse because they do not know why they responded in this way or why they hit the the brother or sister or friend or why they were uh, you know saying rude things is because for them their brains work differently and their logical mind is not formed yet and too much earlier in the adulthood so at this point of time they are really scared and and they are really uh, kind of like responding or reacting to the situation and when we give them a time out it doesn't help what is the outcome when you practice time out first of all for you you will be tired out 
because the child will not stop and you're so agitated, you're so mad and you're like stop, you know, and it's more tiring and the child will take longer to calm down. But in the long term effects, when you do a uh, timeout, uh, you know, the child will become more, uh, I would say, lack of confidence, maybe have some behavior issues because they were not taught or learn how to uh, regulate themselves or while they are going through this emotion, nobody helped me uh, identify what it is and so I do not know how to cope. So as they grow older, they do not know how to cope with their feelings and so that's why they can be more, uh, they could be more aggressive, angry, blaming um, and do not understand about themselves and they may have uh, relational problems uh, to relate with other people, how to get along with people and um, just no control of everything about themselves. And this is the outcome uh, when we do time out with children. And of course, the thing that happens is because of how the adults treat them while they are having this issue, they probably have a very, very strained relationship. The child will have the mindset that, hey, when I was down, when I was out, the people that I love most, you know, or I thought that, that could be standing by me, wasn't there for me at all. And that will cause a strained relationship and it's very difficult sometimes to manage. And of course, you need to take a lot of time and effort to uh, be able to mend back the relationship. So I would say if you have been doing time out, let's change that and practice time in instead. You will definitely see a difference in your child or in your children when you practice time in instead of time out. I'm going to give you a fast method of when you practice time in. First of all, what is fast? F-A-S-T. F, focus on helping your child because that is what they need. When they cannot help themselves, that is what you're supposed to do. Focus on helping your child. Help them to be able to calm down uh, by being calm yourself. Right? Focus. Your focus is to help them get out of what they are feeling. That's F. For A, very, very important is acknowledging their feelings. Now, acknowledging their feelings is not agreeing or condoning your child's actions. It's validating their feelings. You know, as quoted by Janet Lansbury, right? You're not uh, agreeing or condoning to their behavior, but I am validating your feelings. Like, I see that you are upset because I stopped you from watching TV. I see that uh, you are not happy because I didn't allow you to have your cookie. Uh, you know, so validate that uh, the feelings. You can also add that if I were you, I will also feel that way. So when they hear that, hey, you understand me, you, uh, I am heard, uh, heard as in here, you know, by my parents, uh, you know, so they know that, hey, somebody is understanding me, okay, uh, and slowly, as you are validating them or acknowledging their feelings, slowly they're calming down, okay, and the other thing, while they are in their episodes, right, S from the fast, S, is providing a safe place. Now, it is very important that while your child is going through tantrums, don't try to stop them. Let them let it all out of the system. And what you need to do is make sure they're in a safe place. Well, when they're, you know, releasing their frustration, they might be moving around or jumping or, you know, doing a lot of activities. 
uh, that might hurt themselves or there are too many objects around they might hurt themselves. So provide a safe place for them where they are able to express themselves and at the same time uh, to make sure that uh, there are no objects around that might hurt them or if they're hurting themselves or they're hitting themselves that's when you are the safe place provider to hold them to say I do not allow you to hurt yourself right? you, there are other ways of dealing with this maybe let's go punch a pillow but you are not to hurt yourself so a safe place and T is a time where uh, you teach them and they have come down of course teach them or ask them why or what happened earlier on that uh, led them to this behavior uh, understanding them where they're coming from and this teaching or talking moments uh, are times whereby you get to understand them much better and of course this is the time that you co-regulate with them like all right in the future this is what you do when you have this feeling um, yes as i uh, mentioned you have to as you are teaching them uh, help them to identify the emotions uh, that they were feeling so that you know how to help them co-regulate meaning you do the uh, exercise with them what they need to do to calm down to be it breathing be it listening to music be it jumping whatever it is co-regulate with them so that in the future when they are going through this emotion they will know how to self-regulate or self smooth themselves soothe themselves um, they will not be so fearful or uh, afraid so with this fast method your child will probably calm down faster than if you had a time out do that time in try it out i'm very very sure that it will help you and what are the outcomes when you do a time in right it builds resilience on your child that's what every parent wants right build resilience that okay when i see these things i know how to solve it because my mom helps me before or my dad helped me before i know what to do i know how to solve it uh, it helps your child to be emotionally stable and of course they are calmer kids they have less stress less behavior uh, issues or problem because they are very very stable and of course you're building trust with your children because you have created trust when they were out you know and they were not uh, themselves you have created trust you know by believing in them and still uh, you know loving them and you will be surprised when you do this time in you will have future cooperation from your kids that whatever you ask of them they will be cooperative and they will also realize that hey my mom and dad is not perfect they have their uh, emotions uh, they have their breakdowns too and they when they look at you they realize that this is normal in life uh, and, and you know they feel more comfortable and they feel more safe in a safe place so today i want you to decide if you have been doing time out do time in now stop timing out do time in right so if you find it helpful from what i've shared today about time in do like share and press the notification button so that you will be notified of any new videos that i have uploaded till then to the next video bye, -bye.